Johnny, you are my chosen one this week. DMAs and Silver it is the big record for me all this week on Radio X. Can you do me a little favour and just paint a picture of when that song was written, where it was written and how it came together? Oh, I can totally tell you that. Um, I actually used to play in like a bluegrass country band and um, called Little Bastard, uh, <laughs> which was, uh, yeah, which was like this seven piece kind of like in the city kind of country band that we put together, which was cool. We'd kind of like, or just party and like try and sing five part harmonies and stuff. Anyway, it was a song that I originally wrote for that. So kind of, it was written like maybe like Hills End. It, it very easily could have been on the first album, but uh, wasn't quite there. You know, we knew it wasn't completely finished. And then um, maybe a few months ago, Tommy wrote that kind of extra chorus that we have that you hear at the end of the song. And it really just kind of joined it together and, like all the best DMAs tunes, it's the ones where we all collaborate together, which I think we really come into our own. Yeah. What's that about, a song called Silver? Uh, well, back to like another bluegrass reference, there's a um, song called Nine Pound Hammer, um, and, it go, and it's like, ain't no hammer in this tunnel, rings like mine, rings like mine, R rings like silver, rings like silver, shines like gold. Anyway, so there was kind of like a bit of a tip of a hat to that, and it was, um, but it's, like most of this record, it's about change and trying to get your stuff together, I guess, after with dealing with change and moving forward and the pros and cons that come with it. Yeah, it's funny you mention that, because I think the first time I saw you was maybe four years ago, the first night of this feeling TV, and Liam Gallagher came to see you for the very first time. And here you are That's on right. tour with him in Cardiff. Now, can you just, again, what was it like that first introduction to Liam, one of your heroes? Oh, it was awesome. Especially because, I don't know, you could meet, like, someone that you... Uh, look up to like that you know and there's a good chance they could be a toss spot but he was cool as you know he just loves music um and we went to the pub with him and his son gene and we watched the manchester derby and we just talked about music and it was it was just a great experience you know and the fact that we can jump on but we did the finsbury park gig with him and the fact that we can jump on this you know it's it's really perfect i'm gonna say that you've played quite a few gigs with them now what's it like on the road with uh, mr gallagher no, I don't know. Fin Finsbury Park was just a big, you know, a big festival, basically. So I guess I'll, uh, I'll get back to you after <laughs> yeah. the next couple of weeks. Yeah, you won't be looking as fresh-faced as that, I tell you. <laughs> if you could just say to DMA fans who are listening tonight, one thing about this song and a big introduction for it, what would you like to tell them? Uh, you know, this song's been around for a while. Um, it was written in those kind of... In those early stages that you hear lots of songwriters write about where there's that vulnerability or they don't really even know what artists they are. And, and, um, and I'm glad that we still have it up our sleeve because it still holds that sentiment. And I'm glad that we can show the world it now with a bit more maturity under our belt. But the song, um, I guess, still holding that nostalgia and that, um, that innocence that it was written with. Radio X.